Hi, I'm Ray from the Department of Chemical Engineering, but I don't work with real chemicals. My job is running experiments on computers to save the time and resources in the lab. More specifically, I calculate the energies of different chemicals and reactions to see whether a chemical could be made and how to make it. However, we are currently only able to study very, very simple chemicals on computers. To see the reason, allow me to introduce some background. We know that everything are made of atoms, and when we think about atoms, we tend to have this picture in mind. That is a bunch of electrons orbiting around the nucleus, like planets orbiting around the sun. But that's not the case. Instead, electrons form a cloud around the nucleus. For example, this is a realistic visualization of the electron cloud of carbon dioxide molecule. You see, the cloud has different density at different spots. And it is this density and how it changes around defines the electronic environment of a spot. And different environment results in different energy, as you can see over here. And to get the total energy of the system, which is what we really care about, we must know the energy of all the different spots in the system. A wonderful theory called density functional theory, or DFT, could take us from here to here pretty accurately. The problem is, it's very expensive. To see the reason, let's say this room is the system, and to get the energy over here, we must consider all other spots in the room. Why? Because DFT is treating it like it's the first time it's this such environment. So you must consider the influences from all other parts of the room to get the energy over here. And remember, to get the total energy of the system, we must, consider, we must get the energy of all the spots in the system, so that this process must be repeated over and over again for all the spots in this room. You see, it's very expensive to get the energy this way, especially as the system gets larger. But that doesn't make sense. First, we're not looking at new, unique environments all the time. In fact, we have the same, similar, if not the same environment shared across different chemicals. Also, the energy over here shouldn't depend much on something far away, but only its neighbors. So how to make it better? My answer is fingerprinting the electron environment. So now for every spot, I just look around its neighbors and ask, how much does it look like a sphere? I evaluate it and give it a number. Then how much does it look like this? I again evaluate it and give it a number. After going through the whole sequence, I get a sequence of numbers that is a fingerprint of this electron environment. I can then take this fingerprint to an AI model that has already seen all kinds of different environments and then ask it for the corresponding energy. With this approach, I was able to dramatically lower the cost of DFT calculations and that would allow us to study much more complicated chemicals and reactions in the future. Thank you.